Hello, hello. This is Kieran's Critics, Sarulan here, also playing Allura. Um, just giving a little test run here of my uh, recording software, as well as a little demonstration of the newest, latest expansion, uh, War, uh, excuse me, Warlo uh, Warlords of Drenar. Um, and I must admit, uh, it's a hell of a lot better than Cataclysm or uh, Miss Um The uh, functionality is smoother as far as uh, as far as uh, story progression. Uh, it's a uh, far superior game to Cataclysm. Um, Miss Pandaria. Eh, can't say the story's any better quality. It's definitely not Burning Crusades quality yet. It's getting there. Gotten uh, to about level 95 right now. So, and cleared off Shadow uh, Moon Valley. It's not exactly the uh, quite the uh, quite the level of hate builder that uh, Burning Crusade may, uh, had uh, had presented, but um, it's definitely a fun story. Now, um, as you can very well see, I, I'm in something of a new area here. Well, guess what? You get your own town, also known as a barracks. Uh, you basically uh, build your forces by recruiting other uh, other members of different races. Uh, Alliance members, you can actually recruit orcs if you want to. So, therefore, you get the uh, power and the ability to uh, build your forces with any race. Um, as far as how you do it is by going out and questing, meeting new uh, characters, recruiting them by helping them with their own with their own issues. Um, you also uh, get uh, kind of that uh, Warcraft, the old classic Warcraft feel here of uh, upgrading your uh, and building uh, structures and, upgrade, and upgrading them. Uh, you start off as a very small little, I mean, it's barely even a fort um, at first. Then you uh, go up to uh, your level 2 uh, uh, town hall, which is right up here. And that's where things start getting interesting. Uh, let's put it this way, without having to go too much into it, I am going to leave it there. Uh, since this is not exactly a uh, a full out blown tutorial of the um, of the ba of the barracks area, also known as uh, your own personal city, and well, there's certain things I haven't quite gotten unlocked yet, but hey, you no, know, it's all cool. Um, just to uh, just to um, give you a hint of what I have here uh, right now. Uh, there is a barn over here, which, yes, okay, a barn, um, you would think that a barn would actually have, uh, a stable master and so forth. Wrong. Your barn, basically, is your slaughterhouse. You go out, you capture, uh, you cap, you cap, you capture the real, the real deal, the real deal of, um, of monsters out there, and you bring them back here. These folks, these good folks here, are basically... Well, your right hand man's a murderer, <laughs> and uh, they basically take uh, take the um, captured um, enemies that the captured uh, animals that you find. You use uh, what is called an iron trap, drop it down, uh, start doing a little bit of damage. About halfway through uh, killing uh, killing an elk or a wolf, this trap will snap, and well. You have a, a captured a, a captured wolf. You get about twelve of them with a bank. Hint, hint, bank. You actually get, well, ah, twelve of these uh, little slots here. Uh, when you go over and talk with this guy right here, Homer uh, Stonefield. Hmm, Homer Simpson, Homer Stonefield. Hmm. Yeah, it's another rep. But anyway. Uh, you talk to this guy. Well, as you very well see, I don't have any pet. I don't have any captured right now, so I can't show you the screen. But you can. Uh, but with a bank, you get a maximum of twelve uh, slots. Pretty nice. 
See you. Drop them off there. Run back over here. See it bag? Go going back there. Click that. Well, hello. I got 56. Uh, I got 56 raw hides here and a bunch of crystals. Uh, the crystals are uh, used for crafting. Uh, the raw hides are used for crafting. Okay, yeah, you can you can do your own crafting. But why would you want to do your own crafting? Well, let me show you. Let me show you what um, the tannery can do here for you. You can uh, do your own crafting, yes, and everything. But there's a little catch to it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick. Um, leatherworking. Well, I have uh, a maximum of two stacks I can work with. Great. Guess what? Cool down and reset daily. Real bitch, if you ask me. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and do my, do my, do my little, do my little uh, bit of um, stack right there. I got four there for that. Nah, not really a lot. Uh, as you go up in your levels, as you get closer to 70, you're supposed to get a lot more. I haven't really seen that much of a. Um, Increase yet at 490. Not really uh, excited about doing that again. You can also uh, you can also craft these uh, these books right here and craft one of them to show you exactly what you can do with them. <laughs> these right here are very nice. So yes, they do a, a daily reset, but there's a reason for them. Okay, going back to the tannery here. Okay, you have a leather worker here. <coughs> Like I said, you have. I created a small book. Good day to Well, you. that small book actually um, affords you one recipe. Well, uh, let's put it this way: we can uh, we can actually craft uh, stuff like this uh, at this type at this kind of level with the kind of garbage that we're getting right now in drops. Current moment, I would say it's probably well worth. Uh, well worth the hassle. Well, on that note, okay. Let's move. Uh, let's move this on a little bit more. Uh, you use uh, you use that book to buy one of these. To buy one of these, and buy this one. You only get one craft one crafted book a day, and each book is freaking soul bound. So therefore, it's going to take you a bit to get to get everything on this. That's how Blizzard's basically tricking you into uh, sticking around with World of Warcraft. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, the hook's in my mouth, and I'm basically I basically got a big old three prong marlin hook in my mouth as it is. But anyway, that's how you basically get your um, you get your um, your new your uh, new um, patterns for. Um, Warlords and for ten, for uh, for your leather working a little tidbit right there free of charger uh, Can I help you? But there's also this This young lady here is your saving grace Basically You can drop as many as many work orders as you have as you have uh, max uh, as you have a max out like I said Bank the banker Trust me the banker is your best friend. Right across the street from my place is my banker. Yes, that sucker helps out tremendously. But we'll get to that in a few moments. Uh, pretty much, uh, you can uh, put in 12 work orders. Each work order costs you five uh, raw B-sides. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, drop in all that. Okay. We did everything we possibly could there. School. All right. See you it's going to take, oh, if I'm not mistaken, about four hours per stack. Most people usually uh, have work to go to. You know, uh, places to go um, earn real life cash so we can actually pay Blizzard to actually play their virtual life here, which, you know, as far as I'm concerned, is better than Second Life could ever hope to be. But anyway, see this box right here? This little box right here? Click it. Ah, oh, I got seven. I got seven burnished, le uh, burnished leathers and a couple of uh, sorceress, uh, sorceress uh, earths. Hey, that's pretty nice. Well, hey, I got seven. I got seven. Uh, I got seven burnished uh, leathers. Where do I go to usually take it? Oh, instead of going all the way back to Stormwind, Darnasses, Ironforge, or the epitome of hell, 
any of the other uh, any, uh, any, any of the other bankers uh, throughout the uh, throughout the region. Why not just go across the street? <laughs> there we go, banker. <laughs> Very know. nice. Not only does this give you access to your bank, but it also doubles your number of um, of work orders that you can place into uh, whatever else you have back over there. That right there is well worth the uh, pain and suffering of having to waste a spot for a banker. I know a lot of people do not like the banker. Me, myself, I love it. But anyway. Uh, pretty much. Got my stack right there of uh, varnished leather. Drop it in. Drop that in. Uh -huh. Drop this in. And... I don't have to waste. Oh, I got more varnish leather than what I thought I did. Hell, I got half a day. I got half, I got half of my first item. Oh, that's rather nice. Let me see that. But hey, what can I say this is uh, this is uh, basically just a overview oh. video and also a test of my recording software. So please send me some likes. Come on, people! If you want me to do more recording of of, of World of Warcraft. If you want me to do more MMOs to prom to show you exactly what you're getting into, give me some likes. Give me some subscribers. Do it. I do more. Don't. Well, I'll just go ahead and just bitch out Mad Hatter, uh, also known as Mad Hatter McGinnis, or uh, whoever else I fucking feel like it. And yes, I have a no holds bar uh, um, mentality. Uh, this is not, this is not, this is not for the 13 year olds, this is for the adults. I cuss, I swear, I might even drink down, I might even drink down a few rums uh, before the night's over, but you will get your money's worth off of the, off, off of these videos, and I will be providing them free of charge. Have a great day, Kieran's Critics, signing out.